And I, I have just a, a sample of some of those. And these are people that are concerned about the fact that we are permanently moving off of our balance sheet the funding of student population growth in the state of Texas. And not only are we doing that, but we're doing it without putting a plan in place that will help us find further funding. Senator Davis, this is from Jeff Province. He's a principal at Arlington Lamar High School. As you prepare to tackle one of the largest shortfalls in state history, I'm asking you to find a way to keep public education cuts to a minimum and to use the rainy day fund to make up for some of the state's revenue shortfall. The education of Texas students today will have a direct impact on the future of our state. I know you are dedicated to serving your constituents. The decisions regarding public school funding are important to me and to my school district. From Cindy Harbison, an elementary principal in the Arlington ISD. Ms. Davis, I'm very concerned about the direction our state is heading with regard to public education. We are faced with possibly cutting fine arts programs at the elementary level and cutting our probationary teachers. This will hurt our students and the quality of education that we are providing. As a principal and a product of Arlington ISD, it saddens me to see us in this situation. I would ask that the state consider using the rainy day funds to help support the local school districts and their budgets. I know you are a major proponent of public education and a vital supporter for us, so I thank you for that. Hopefully the state can find a way to not cut funds to the districts and not take away from the education of our students. From Roger Pierce, one of my constituents, destructive cuts in funding for education and other essential public services are not the answer to the state revenue shortfall that confronts the 2011 legislative session. State funding for public schools already lags behind growth in enrollment, inflation, and the cost of meeting rising state achievement goals. Texas needs to invest more, not less, in the nearly 5 million children attending our public schools. To address the short-term revenue problems caused by the recession and avoid destructive cuts, I urge you to declare publicly your support for the full use of the state's rainy day fund. This economic stabilization fund is intended to counteract exactly the kind of economic downturn accompanied by revenue shortfalls that we are experiencing now. Fully using the $9 billion available in the Rainy Day Fund will go a long way to prevent needless harm to our state's school children and their families. There also are long-term structural revenue shortfalls in the state's finances that require long-term solutions. The 2006 bill that reduced school property taxes did not produce nearly enough replacement revenue. That bill at the same time made it much harder for elected school boards to raise revenue locally above $1.04 per 100 of value. The state also has exempted business and professional services from the state sales tax, leaving untaxed the main growth sector in the state's economy. The legislature should rethink all these policies taxing most business and professional services while preserving the exemption for lifeline services such as health care and child care would raise $5.6 billion per biennium. Please support the necessary and feasible short-term and long-term solutions to the state's revenue problems and don't shortchange the future of our school children.